Guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this video, I went and looked through a ton of indie games, spent hours checking out games, so many games, just to find the best ones for you to check out. So check out this list, because we're starting right now. And if you like videos like this, or if you'd like to see some in-depth reviews of different indie games or some game development advice, then check out the other content on my channel, as well as I do have uploads every weekday for different games with my friends called The Cyber Slacker, so check that out and let me know what you think. The first game we're looking at today is called Run Flexio, and it's available on itch.io. The first thing that catches me about this game is its graphics. It is beautiful, I and mean, you can see it, it's on your screen right now. This looks amazing. I love when developers put stuff in the foreground like that for these types of games. The next thing that caught my attention is the story. It's a very somber story is what I'm getting out of it, and it's just, it feels really intimate. And that's what I love about these games that really feel like passion projects. And this really felt like something, somebody poured a lot of time and love into it. And it really shows. It's really a lot of fun, but it's more interesting to explore the story. Developer, if you're watching this, I'd actually love to hear what your inspiration was for this game. Because it is really cool, and I just cannot get over that graphic style. It's so unique. The second game we're looking at this week is called Me and the Robot, and it's available on GameJolt.com. First off, I love the idea of just a grumpy old lady commander. I think that's hilarious. This is another one of those games where the art style is just beautiful. I really love the hand-drawn feel of the art, as well as the level of detail that they put into this game. It just looks great. And the animations are pretty smooth. It's also a different style of game than I usually play. This is a point-and-click style game and it seems very story driven and the story seems kind of interesting and pretty decent pacing as well which is rare for a lot of games in this genre so i definitely think this one is working out the soundtrack is good the visuals are obviously amazing and i think it's a great story worth investigating so you guys should go check this one out as well and while we're at it, why don't you guys let me know what your list is this week? Maybe there's a game that I didn't see. I can only limit this to the games that I come across. So it'd be interesting to hear what you guys think I missed, what I should check out, and maybe I should make a video out of it. So if you'd like to hear any of that, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, rolling into game number three. This is called Vapor Trails, and it is available on itch.io. I think the theme so far is interesting graphic styles, and this one definitely fits that theme, especially with the combat. I love the combat in this game, and I love the character moving around, although some of this footage you can see I'm just a terrible platformer. But yeah, the thing that really stuck out to me in this one was the combat. The story is pretty interesting, but I think the combat is where this game really shows up, and the idea of like abilities and power-ups and the idea of this manifested computer is also a really cool thing it takes a little bit to pick up in my opinion but after you get into it and actually unlock the game and start getting into it that's where this game really comes alive and it's just a great game to play so you guys should definitely go check this out on itch.io and support that developer and if you guys are liking this video definitely hit that subscribe button to let me know or let me know in the comments down below what you liked or what you think could be improved on i'm always looking for feedback and as a small channel, that stuff is vital to me, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Alright, and on to game number four. This one is Sok Sokolin Station. Sokolin? I don't know how to pronounce that properly, so developer, please correct me when you check out this video. This is another story-driven game, and it's a story- it's not really a platform, or a platformer in my opinion. It's, it's more of a story game that just happens to use a 2D setup. Um, you guys can let me know how stupid that is in the comments below. Man, you guys are going to have long comments in this video. But anyways, this is a great story-driven game that just kind of drops you into a scenario that you don't really know what's going on. The thing that I find unique and interesting about this game is that the narrative is given to you by the character talking to himself, in a way. And I think that's a very fun way to do it, as well as it gives a little perspective to the game, which a lot of uh, platform-like games tend to miss out. I, I know it's a bad example to say in this video, because there's a lot of platformers that are really great that come out in these videos. But it's something that I think a lot are missing, and that perspective can really add a lot of depth to games. So I definitely think this is one that's worth checking out. You guys should go check this one out. I had a little bit of a hard time in the beginning, so maybe you guys can figure it out, and I'll read your comments to figure out how to actually beat this game. Alright, the last and my personal favorite here is Fury Unleashed Prologue. 
Uh, if you go to itch.io, you will get the demo version of the game. There is a full version out, I believe. It's on Steam. You can check it out. I love the art style with this, and I know I've said that for the last four games, but this one just... It's so unique. I don't think I've ever seen a platformer take this style, or any other game really take this style and do it so polished and well. The idea of it being in a comic book, or you're a comic book character, is kind of hilarious, but kind of awesome to me at the same time. The graphics are very smooth, the gameplay is very smooth. It's just a great experience, it feels really good. It feels like one of those arcade shooters that you'd find in an arcade. And that's what I love about this, and that's why it's definitely my pick. If you're gonna check out one of these games, this is the one you go check out. Go support this developer, um, go play through this game. I intend on purchasing this game, and maybe you guys can let me know if you plan on doing it, and I think I'll probably do a series on it. Um, I don't know when that'll come out, but I'll probably do this a series, so you guys should definitely subscribe to check that out. Alright, so that is my list. If you guys had a different list, let me know down below. If you guys had any comments, questions, concerns, and or recommendations, or just want to tell me that I suck, just put a smiley face on it so I know you're kidding. Let me know down below, and links to all these games are also in the description so you guys can check them out. But thanks again for hanging out with me. I hope for... I hope forward. I look forward to seeing you guys next week or in some other videos. For now, take care of yourself, because I will see you later.